Governor Andy Bashir addressed the state today expressing concern about these rising case numbers, but he remains hopeful his political opponents will begin to work with him on a new strategy. LEX 18's Michael Burke reports from Frankfurt in tonight's Big Story at 5. We're not able to do a lot of it. The governor didn't paint a pretty picture during his weekly team Kentucky briefing today. COVID-19 is as bad as it's been since the start of it 18 months ago. We set records this last week in hospitalizations in Kentuckians in the ICU uh, and in Kentuckians uh, on a ventilator. More of those ventilators had to be brought in from the federal government. And we're also low on IV drip bag equipment, which the governor said is a case in point that we're losing this battle with COVID. Hospitals report the unvaccinated make up the largest percent of their patients. And sadly, it's the kids now with a 24% positivity rate as opposed to 11% one year ago. And I can't imagine what it must feel like to, to look at your child uh, needing a machine uh, to help them breathe. More than two and a half million Kentuckians have been vaccinated, but that still leaves us one and a half million shy. That's more than enough to fuel the Delta variant, which led to 93,000 plus cases last month, the second most prolific month of positive cases since this began. And as the Supreme Court stripped the governor of his power to mandate certain protocols, the onus is now on the General Assembly to work with Governor Bashir on a game plan. I believe that it is certainly possible that we have a special session as early as Tuesday, but that's not announcing we are having one. On, on on Tuesday. I know that rumor has, has gone around. It's no secret the governor prefers mask mandates, at least inside schools, if not beyond, but that's where the sides may never see eye to eye, no matter how many ICU beds the state fills. And there are some important tools that I know are, are, are a little controversial. An understatement at a time when there's no understating this current health crisis. This is when you're praying for things to go right. In Frankfurt, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.